Hey guys, so here it is, it's snowing again and it's still early in the day. Jay and I are gonna go to another holiday party tonight, or this afternoon I should say. And it's in downtown Portsmouth, it's at a uh, Mexican restaurant. So I'm really looking forward to it because the Portsmouth group, well I shouldn't say that, all of the people in our office are amazingly fun. But the Portsmouth or the Seacoast group are known to be partiers. <laughs> so I'm hoping the snow stops because ick, I don't like driving in it. So you had, you've really, really had a rotten couple of days, haven't you? Me? Yeah. All, all sorts of bad news you've had. What, what's it about? I mean, first of all, Outlander season finale, which was really awful on Sunday night, because you're, now you're bummed out about that. And then the Celtics lost, then the Patriots lost, and then your dentist called and said you false teeth, ended up going to California instead. <laughs> Got you, baby. <laughs> Got you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought it was funny. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's it's uh, it's been like a totally crazy week. Jay is waiting for me. I'm gonna grab my coat. We're heading out to go see Star Wars. So this is a like special premiere event tonight for our office. All the the ticket money um, is going to uh, a charity of our choice, Verani Cares. We support a lot of charities in the local community, and I think that's one of the things I really love about where I work because we give back to the community all the time. So that's really cool. But it's been an exhaustive week. We had holiday party after holiday party. Tuesday we went up to the Seacoast holiday party and it had been kind of snowy, rainy and all that. Well obviously we made it home safe and sound but as you can maybe tell by some of these clips I'm going to insert these pictures, I had I had an amazing time. I really enjoyed myself. I have no idea what happened to my hair because it was like slicked way back. Um, I don't know, it was kind of really weird. But I had a little bit too much to drink. I had the most fantastic, fantastic coconut margarita. I've never had a coconut margarita. And it was really, really awesome. But we had a great time with all the Seacoast peeps. Then the next day, I had to get up super early and drive about 40 minutes from my house to teach a class. And then from there, I went up north and went to the holiday party for our Lakes Region office. I had the most amazing drink. It's called Bailey's Comet. I'd never heard of it, but it's hot chocolate with Bailey's and something else in it. It was delicious. And I just absolutely vegged out by this roaring fireplace all night long. I didn't want to move. It was so warm. It was so cozy. It was just absolutely awesome. I had a great, great time. And now we're off to go to see the Star Wars premiere. <laughs> How was it? Oh, it was awesome. <laughs> Did you like it? No, you get your own lightsabers. Yeah. So what did you think of the show? It was good. Yeah, you liked it? I like the ending. Yeah? Yeah. So yeah, I did too. <laughs> you, Star Wars was absolutely so much fun. And it wasn't so much the show itself, but I think the company that we were in because we had a, pri a private premiere. We had the entire theater for our company. And, um, and it was just really, really an awesome, awesome night. Yeah, I think so. Whoops. Anyways, it was great. We did Star Wars, and then on Friday, it was a personal day off for me. So, you know, you have, you have paid vacation days you have to use up by the end of the year. And so this past Friday, yesterday, and next Friday, and the Friday after that is my three that I'm going to be using up. So it was a day it was a day off and I really did nothing. It was just like one of those really lazy, lazy things and and I was trying to really monitor oh, you know, it's so frustrating. So what do you guys use to monitor airfares? I'm planning a trip to Texas and I use Hopper on my cell and I use Compare Fair or Fair Compare. And I keep missing the flights or I got a notification about how I could leave Manchester, New Hampshire, fly into San Antonio, Texas. But 
it was a great price. It was like 380 round trip. And um, the thing is, though, you, you leave Manchester on Saturday morning and you fly and you have a couple of layovers, but you don't arrive. It's an overnight flight to Texas. I'm like, holy cow, it's so frustrating, this whole process of trying to, uh, you know, trying to, to figure out airfares. It's crazy. So what do you guys use? How do you, how do you, um, you know, monitor flights and stuff like that? So Jay and I are heading to a Christmas party that is at friend's house. And I am like really super, super tired. And it's going to be somewhat casual, but... Um, I am just like super, super tired because I have no idea what was wrong with me last night at all. But I woke up about 1.30 in the morning and it, you guys are probably cracking up at me doing this, right? Because I never do mascara or eyeshadow or anything like that, I should say, while I'm trying to film. It's kind of like ludicrous. But um, anyways, yeah, so I just want to do a little bit of a... A little bit of an eye look and I think I'm gonna probably pin my hair up into one of my um, my cute little fake buns so I bought a second fake bun with also long oh, I should show it to you because I haven't opened it up yet so here's my regular fake bun and here's my secondary fake bun I haven't opened it up yet it still has a little thing here so I just thought that this would be you know I could just kind of wrap it around to kind of give me a little bit of a fuller look so that's what I'm planning for my hair. I don't know. I'm going all over the place, you know, in my conversation. But uh, so anyways, it was around one or so that I woke up last night. I am from a sound sleep with excruciating pains in my stomach. Now, I don't have a gallbladder. So when I have to go... I usually, I usually have to go pretty darn quick. But I'm lying in bed and I'm feeling this pain and I'm like going, holy mackerel, you know, what the heck was it? And I, I jumped up, I, I ended up coming into the bathroom and I, I was in and out for three hours. I was so, so unbelievably sick. It was just like really awful. So, I don't know. I, I don't know if I ate something. And so today, because of lack of sleep all night long, I was sort of really dragging today. Went to the store. I had to buy some salad making stuff because tomorrow we're heading we're heading up to my sister's. I think just me. I'm going to pick up my mom and dad. We're going to go up to my sister's. My niece is there. And um, she's flying to Florida on Monday. So, she lives in Florida, her and her husband and um, her and her little sweet little baby. And so, you know, I'm going to head up there and take, take mom and dad with me and and um, and just head up there to have a little sort of a, a visit with them. So what I'm trying to do, just in case, I have no idea what I'm doing, but I am using my my, um, my Viseat palette. And this is the, I think it's champagne. I'm just trying to give it sort of more of a, a darker, you know, V, I guess. And then a little bit more. It's hard for me to see because I can't talk to you. Look down and look in the mirror to see. How in the heck am I doing this? Oh, it's heavier than I thought it would be in the real mirror. <laughs> oh, well. So, um, yeah, I'll probably blend a lot of it off a little bit, you know, as I go through. Yeah, so that's my plan for tomorrow. So, you know, I'm going to make a salad and... The Patriots are playing late in the afternoon. Jay has some appointments, so he's going to stay home, do his appointments, and then come home, and he'll be home watching the, the Pats play. I have no idea who they're playing against, but they're playing. So he'll watch them do their thing, and hopefully he'll have a better result than they did the other day. Poor Jay. He doesn't like it when his team loses. So I think I'm going to wear my number seven Lift and Illuminate on my face tonight. And then just a little bit of lipstick, obviously. I, I hope the camera didn't pick up that little boop action. Oh, I have to edit that out. <laughs> yeah, so maybe, and just keep it really low-key. I mean, it's more of like a daytime look. I'll do my eyeliner. You know, I'll do my waterline. I'll probably add some more little glimmery thingies in the center here because it's kind of like dull and boring. I'll touch up my mascara a little bit because sometimes the tips get um, a little discoloration from the 
from the eyeshadows. I always put my mascara on first and I just always do so but yeah so that's the scoop. I will be back in a jiffy. Yeah, so I think this is what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to wrap my hair up, take this bun, and then stick this one on top, just to kind of give it a little bit more fullness. I think that'll be, I think that'll work out really good. I think I need to trim my eyelashes. I'm going to go into this. I know, I know I'm not supposed to be wearing a dark lip liner, but it is what it is. I cannot believe I'm actually filming myself with rollers in my hair, putting on my makeup, and <laughs> just just kind of playing around. Look at me trying to put this little hairpiece in as I'm getting ready for the party. And oh my gosh, this is what YouTube has done to me. I think it's brought me out of my shell. So I finished my um, my updo. I ended up taking the second bun off because, I don't know, I showed Jay and he really liked it, but he thought it had a lot of poofiness up there and I thought it looked really super sexy with all the poofiness up there, but um, I think for the house party, this is more me. <laughs> so now we have to go to the liquor store and buy a bottle because guess who thought we had one and didn't? <laughs> <laughs>